and talk about technology-based approaches. Great. We hit on quite a few really salient points in the technology session. We began by discussing how the vast majority of youth today are online and ever-growing populations of adults are online as well. And so we talked about how this presence of, of so much of the demographic of our country being online is really can be a source of a new place to place interventions and preventions, as well as a new source of a place where bullying and harassment may take place. We talked about that online, the online environment may be a great place to think about interventions. Um, it has the luxury of being easily accessible by most people. People can access it in a really private place at home. We know that youth do a lot of seeking of health information online, especially information about uh, topics that they might find stigmatizing or embarrassing to ask about. And so this may be a place where youth who have been bullied might feel more comfortable seeking help or seeking, um, seeking support. And we talked about how uh, online interventions may take the form of prevention or intervention. And we reviewed some of the current online interventions in areas such as sexual health and in areas such as smoking cessation, which are also arguably very complex problems that they're placing some of the intervention efforts on Online. So I think those are great models for us to think about in the bullying realm. We also really emphasize that evidence is key, and right now we don't have evidence for an online bullying intervention. We have the It Gets Better campaign, which is a great reminder to all of us that just because something's online and has good celebrity endorsement doesn't mean that it works. We also talked about uh, that in building online interventions, we can consider drawing from the really foundational base of knowledge about school-based interventions to guide some of our thoughts and how to structure an online intervention using things such as social-emotional learning or cognitive behavioral therapy. I think in terms of next steps, we talked about the need to build and test interventions in the online space, and we also discussed how we need more work and more understanding of that older adolescent population that was represented by our youth today um, that we really don't have as much understanding on the definitions of bullying and cyberbullying and when it starts to transition and what role dating violence plays in that population. And I think that one of the lessons from um, our last couple of days also is thinking about looking to youth to partner with us to understand what might work and what might not work. Um, I thought it was fantastic just hearing what you guys thought for uh, next steps in research and ideas for programs. I love the comments by Glenn about that this generation of teens is looking online for some of their validation and we can think about whether there's ways we can provide that validation if they're not getting it through the usual Facebook likes. Thank you.